Hey everybody. So when the Realtor told me that this place was conducive to families, I didn't realize just exactly what they were talking about. Not only do we have this, which is like the rabbit colony, <laughs> but uh, yesterday my neighbor, we went out for a minute and my neighbors like sent me a message, like an SOS because she had video or a picture right here like over here in this little grassy area a skunk family that's living under my shed apparently it wasn't just a skunk like we saw the other day it was a family of skunks isn't that just lovely so welcome everyone to uh, friends of the feather this is my channel um, you can check out the description box below to see what's going on and you must subscribe there's not a there's not a maybe should kind of might you need to subscribe because we have some wonderful wonderful things coming in the future and uh, you won't want to miss it you really won't does that sound like a good commercial it really does doesn't it you won't want to miss it but wait there's more I should have been like <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you a funny story so there is a child that I know very well <clears throat> in my life that um, was a very big fan of Flex Seal, so much so that he, oh look at the bunnies, they're bounding through the yard, I don't know if you can see him, probably not, anyway, this kid was a giant fan of Phil Swift, and the Flex Seal commercials, and he would <laughs> recite them word for word all the time, so... He was, the, he should have been an infomercial guy, for sure. Maybe he will be someday, if infomercials still exist in the future. So thank you very much to our 161 subscribers. Please, if you have not done so, do so. Um, like I said, you really need to do that. We are 16.1% of the way to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> That's what we need to monetize to get this operation just a little fancier than it is you see I have high expectations expensive taste that's what my mom always used to tell me that I have expensive taste I don't know about all that I I can do with a, I can uh, I can do without a lot when I uh, try to put it in perspective so that's what it's all about y'all look at how much this grass is growing this is not just grass though I'll have you know There's, there are uh, sunflower seeds in the grass spot for sure something That's, those have got to be sunflowers you guys what do you think I keep, I keep mentioning it and no one comments but that's okay I mean I get it I'm a little shy myself sometimes but I'm thinking I'm thinking that these are sunflowers that's cool I'll have a sunflower garden I don't mind that at all. Sunflowers are pretty nice. Plus, the chickens would love them, I'm sure. Wouldn't you love a sunflower fiddle? Fiddle dee 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 dee. I haven't sang to old fiddle in such a long time. And Jackie Diane. A little bitty named Jackie Diane. Yep. That's Jackie Diane. She's a troublemaker. So yesterday, this one right here, Faddle, right? Fiddle and Faddle, Faddle, this one. She um, was having a crisis. Falco was having a crisis too. I'm telling you, when these big chickens decide to lay an egg, look out, brothers and sisters, because they go into full panic mode. They make me panic, and I'm not even tra about to push an egg out my butt. They, they really stress. They pant really, really bad. And Falco, because she's a condor, we don't have condor boxes. We have hen boxes for chickens, not condors. And so when she tries to mush herself into that little box, it she just it doesn't look normal. <laughs> it doesn't look great. So she mushed herself into the little box last night, and she was huffing and puffing and panting and was in a, a dead panic. Battle did the same thing earlier in the day. So I thought it would be cute because she was like running back and forth at the door here. I'll show you. I'll show you. 
so she was running back and forth at the door. She was like run here and then over to here and over to here and then back and forth, right? So I was like, what is wrong with this chicken? And I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I decided to let her out, right? I was like, okay. So I, I opened the door and she comes waddling out and she comes walking along through here and she stops right here and then she tries to jump up onto the hay bale, right? So I was like, okay. So I picked her up and I put her on the hay bale and she starts scratching around. You can see where she was scratching around and bedding down. And so she let, she sat there for a long time and I stood here and watched her and I was like, all right. So I left and I shut the door so she could have her little private time. I, I thought maybe she was like trying to hide her eggs or something. So I went ahead and shut the door and left her in here for like probably an hour. And when I came back down, she had wreaked havoc on everything. She had pooped on the tra on the lid for the food. You can see the remnants. She had tried to come over here. She had flipped over the egg basket. Oh, man, I forgot to give those to the chickens. We're going to do that. Um, but, yeah, so she had completely forgotten to, uh, or she would completely flipped over the egg basket. Everything was a mess. She would pooped like four or five times on the floor. So I figured she was probably looking for food because, you know, or water because she didn't have that in here. So I put her back in the pen and she was fine. I don't know if she ever laid an egg or not, if I'm honest. I don't, I don't think she did because she's just a nervous Nelly. And I'll tell you what, girls, we need to have a meeting. Ladies. Oh, I meant to do this earlier. Ladies, we need to have a meeting. Pecans. We only got three eggs yesterday. Three. Three of them. You guys have that many toes. You can count. Three. Need a little bit of a... Need to step it up a bit today. Okay? Go from nine to seven to three. What kind of showing is that? Anyway. So... I know it's just the way it goes. I'm just giving them hell. You know, I'm just being silly. But this is what I do. I, I hack up the... I hack up the eggshells so they don't look like eggs. They seem to enjoy them. I'm a little dubious about giving them Cheerios. I know it's toasted oats, but it's processed. But this was a, a mystery bowl of Cheerios that someone poured and left on my counter. I don't eat the crap, but there are folks in my house that do enjoy it. So, um, we have Cheerios. And this bowl of Cheerios just magically appeared in my kitchen. So, no milk. Dry cereal. Don't know where it came from. Don't know who poured it. It's probably my mother. That pesky mother of mine. But we're going to see if the birds will eat Cheerios. I don't know. I don't think it'll kill them. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if they love the toasted oats. It's a honey of an O. I don't know if there's... Yeah, there's our honey nut. Oh, no. Not the processed sugars. Oh, well. It'll be okay. It'll be a little treat for the girls. Hmm. It, I, think they, I think they appreciate the heart shapes. They're heart healthy, you know. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. They lower your cholesterol. I bet they do. All right. So there we have it. You guys are going to knock over your water bowl. And then I'm going to change it. So, yeah. Take that, chickens. <laughs> Chip. Carrying an Oreo around. Or er, Oreo. Cheerio. That's funny. Well, if I have a bunch of dead chickens tomorrow, we'll blame General Mills. <laughs> I think they'll be alright. I think they'll be okay. So yeah, three eggs yesterday. That was a dismal showing, I'll have to say. Not, not good. Oh no, is that Laddie? That's, no, it's not Laddie. Oh wait, maybe it is. Oh, it is. Oh, there she is. Laddie is a grumpy girl lately. I think Laddie's getting broody. Because look at her. She's so grumpy. 
She's just so grumpy. What's up, laddie? You're named after one of the best songs in the known universe. Why are you so sad? Poor laddie. She does this in the pen in the nest all day. This is the first time she's done it down here, though. I know. I don't get what's wrong with you, girl. She doesn't want any of the other chickens around her. Whenever they start to come in, she that thing that she just did. It's she's just generally disagreeable. Why don't you get up in a nest, girl? You're gonna lay an egg down there, and then I'm gonna have to pick it up. An old Fifi. Hi, Fifi. Fifi's got the crooked antenna. All right. So we're gonna let Laddie. Oh, stop. <laughs> they're uh, they're they're squabbling back and forth to each other. That's kind of funny. All right. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Pretty sure it's Tuesday. And uh, I've got some got some uh, projects that I got to get out. Some orders today are due out. So I'll be doing that and, of course, taking care of these little lovelies. Suck it up, mean Mr. Mustard. Maybe you should have thought twice about before you were pecking feathers out of your friends' backs. It's terrible. 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 All right, everyone. Have a great Tuesday. We'll see you later. Bye-bye now.